Next up on WTV, AP Payments, this week's edition of Trivia, and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Monday, January 25th, and I'm Melissa Murphy with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. For the next week, we are taking the update on the road in different locations around the school to prepare for our installment of 14 Days of Love. AP payments aren't until May, but the window to register and pay is now open. WTV's Trevor Noon has the details. The payment window for full semester and fall semester AP classes opened in November, while fees for spring classes opens on Monday. Testing fees for both semester and full semester AP classes are $95. However, if a student decides not to take an exam, there are two refund windows for these payments. Canceling it by February 19th will lead to a full refund minus a $10 fee, but exam registrations canceled between February 20th and April 30th will result in a $25 processing fee. AP testing runs from May 3rd to May 14th. To pay for these exams, go to OnlineSchoolFees.com. All testing fees must be paid through February 19th at 11.59 p.m. For more information, visit the AP testing section on the Fresco ISD website. Reporting for WTV, I'm Trevor Noon. The first semester ended back in December, but students will have to wait a little bit longer to get a transcript. Whether it's for college or some other reasons, transcripts reflecting first semester credits and grades will not be available on Hack until Friday. Students can access their transcripts using the Parchment program. Once there, students can download their transcripts or view it online. Current students get three free transcripts every school year, but after that, it's $3 for a digital and $50 for a paper copy if needed. Anybody needing help navigating Parchment can find video tutorials and other help at parchment.com studentkit. For other questions about transcripts, contact your counselor or go to friscoisd.org. Reporting for WTV, I'm Kate Graham. On this week's edition of Trivia, WTV's TJ Krilowitz tests students' knowledge on geography. Hello and welcome to Wingspan Trivia. I'm your host, TJ Krilowitz, and today we'll be testing students' knowledge over geography. The first question is, can you name the seven continents? America, South America, Asia, Europe, oh, uh... Oh, Australia, Russia. Oh, Antarctica, Antarctica. <laughs> okay, uh, North America, South America, Asia, Africa, Europe, Antarctica. Yeah, uh, North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, and Antarctica. The next question is, what is the tallest building in the U.S. and where is it located? Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't, <laughs> the Empire State Building. That, yeah, that, that's, that's right. Empire State Building, New York. Is it the World Trade Center, or is it, yeah, so? yeah, in New York City. Empire State Building. Right. Next question, name a country that the Nile River runs through. Egypt. Egypt? Yeah. Yes. Nigeria. Egypt. Egypt. And the last question, name the ocean that borders Nevada. Wait, Las Vegas is in Nevada, right? I've been, in, I've been to Las Vegas, so, yeah, I, so, the Pacific. Or no, nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, it is nothing. It's not the Pacific or Atlantic or... Yeah, it's nothing. There isn't one. None. Hold on. Ocean. Isn't it like in the middle? Hold on. Hold on. Pacific. Pacific? Ocean. There's no ocean. Yeah, Pacific. Reporting for WTV, this is TJ Kurlitz. Red Hawk athletes were hard at work over the weekend. WTV's TJ Kurlitz brings you a recap on today's Sports Minute. Swim and diving had some action in districts this weekend with the girls taking sixth and the boys seventh. Mallory Showalter claimed first in the 100 back, while Maria Schalkes also won the 200 free. Winning first place in their events, both Mallory Showalter and Maria Schalkes will move to the regional meet on Friday as they continue their journey to state. Boys and girls soccer travel to the star to play the Frisco Raccoons. On the girls' side, both teams scored three goals with a 3-3 draw, giving them a 2-3-1 District 9-5A record. 
On the boys' side, the Red Hawks scored two goals in the final minutes of the game to win 2-1 and move their district record to 3-1-2. and Both teams are going to play Wakeland on Tuesday. The girls will kick off at 5.30 at Wakeland, while the boys will kick off at 7.15 at the Nest. Finally, boys and girls basketball both played over the weekend. The boys played the 9-3 Memorial Warriors on Friday. The Red Hawks were able to complete the upset as they beat Memorial 67-62. The record now sits at 5-7. The team travels to Independence on Tuesday for a 7.30 tip-off. The girls continued their hot streak on Saturday when they played Frisco. The Red Hawks got up early and continued to pile on their lead as they won 56-17. The Red Hawks' win streak is now at 6 and the record at 11-3 for District 95A. The Red Hawks will go up against Wakeland on Wednesday to try to make it 7 wins in a row. The game will tip off at 6.30 at the Nest. Reporting for WTV, this is TJ Kurlowitz. If you are looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. FCCLA is collecting peanut butter and jelly donations for Frisco Love Packs from January 11th to the 27th. Donations of peanut butter, jelly, and other allergy-friendly alternatives can be left in E104, E105, or the box in the rotunda. Want to be on Wingspan's 14 Days of Love? Scan the QR code below. The last chance to reserve a yearbook is Friday, January 29th. Please go to jostens.com or scan the QR code. That's it for today's daily update. This is Alyssa Murphy for Wingspan TV.